Welcome to a new video. This time it is old versus new and I found this old pot that I think is very clumsy. So I took this round uh, hole cutter and I rolled out some clay in a thin setting on my pasta machine and I'm going to cut out a ribbon around the same height as the old pot and I'm going to wrap that around this hole cutter this is only working when these are made of metal if it's plastic it will melt in the oven and i am leaving this one on as long as it is baking so it needs to be something that can be baking anyway i am connecting the um connection right here and i'm making it smooth and nice looking so that you don't see it in the done project then i am placing it on top of a piece of the clay and i'm carefully cutting out the bottom part um, for this little pot just taking my time and cutting off the excess clay here. There we go. And then I'm carefully lifting it up from uh, the glass here, the glass plate that I'm working on very carefully. And I have a few edges that is still going out over, so I'm just taking a small scissor and just cutting it. It's easier this way. And now I am just going to smoothen the connection so you don't see the connection line between the bottom and the top of this. The bottom part here kind of fell in, so I'm using this tool to push it out again. And I'm just playing around with it until it's as flat as I want it to be. And then I am placing it to the side, ready for the baking. I'm rolling out another piece of clay and I'm using this uh, hole punch to make uh, the circle in the middle. I'm not pushing it through because I don't want to ruin the bottom of my pan and I'm uh, cutting out to the circle this way I have the uh, shape of the handles um, I don't know how to explain that but anyway I'm just cutting out my handles for the pot I was so concentrated about doing this so that I totally forgot to look where my camera were pointing and I got a little bad footage here but I think you can see how I am cutting out the handles for the pot right here. After baking and cooling, I am using this needle tool to loosen up my little pot around this hole puncher and just slide it off. Here I have the pot and the handles and I'm just going to sand the top of this little pot. Then I am going to make the handles here. I have this piece of rest clay that I am putting through my pasta machine in a thinner setting and I am going to cut out a tiny piece that fits in the handle here so I'm just measuring and cutting it out and deciding for where to use and I am using a tiny bit of bacon bond to make it grab to the uh, baked clay just making a nice edge here and it was a little too wide so I'm just cutting a little more off 
and then placing the handle and wrapping this brown clay around the handle like so. It's a bit tricky. Cutting off the excess and wrapping it all the way around and making sure that you don't see the connection. And I'm doing the same on the other handle and then I will bake it all again. Then I am using a tiny bit of my super gel glue. You can use another kind of glue if it's better for you. And I am going to glue on the handles on this little pot. When the glue is all hardened, I'm using some silver ink paint and I'm painting all the black parts on the little pot here so that it is going to be silver and silver shining like the other one. And that's all there is to this little craft. It's actually pretty easy to make a cute looking pot. And you could make a lid for that, but as this was a versus, I am just making what I had in the first place. And that was just the pot. So anyway, thank you for watching. I hope you liked this video. And I will see you next Wednesday. Happy crafting.